Good morning, here Nikola Pasic, saluting you from Serbia, sponsored by Huawei, and this is the second tutorial of the boiling water reactor that we started using a Fujitsu Siemens all computer from around 2008 using a Windows Vista operative system. Uh, that tutorial uh, it told you that this uh, software doesn't work with new computers. That was true. The software, as it was compiled at that time, it doesn't work with Windows 10 computers. But doing some research, I found that the Acme company released a new version, a new compiled version of the software that can be installed in new computers. So now we are in a new Dell computer with a Windows 10 operative system. This is more, uh, more convenient because this computer has a full HD screen, so it's more pleasant to see in the video. So we'll continue with the second tutorial of a series of five tutorials. In the previous lesson, we did the reactor criticality, and now we'll do the reactor heat up. But I will not follow the tutorial. I already did this by myself. Yeah. I will go to the initialization conditions, and we'll start with an intermediate range in which we already brought up to intermediate range monitor range 8. So we'll already did all the source range monitor procedures and now in this uh, tutorial we will try to raise the temperature of the pressure vessel to, to 212 Fahrenheit which is the boiling uh, temperature sorry in the previous tutorial I said that the bubbles were starting to be created at more than 100 degrees but I was confused because this is the imperial system so it means this is Fahrenheit it's not uh, centigrade so, um, the water will start to boil at 220 Fahrenheit. At, at that time, the pressure will start to rise. When pressure, before pressure starts to rise, we need to open the MSIV valve. MSIV stands for Main Steam Line Isolation Valve. It means the steam line that goes to the turbine will be pressurized uh, and equilibrium with the with the reactor. So. We see that now we are at critical state with a period infinity, so the reactor is stable at this 20% of intermediate range. And now we can continue with drawing rods to increase this activity. And as we see 1% appearing in the average power range monitor, which is the average thermal power of the reactor in percentage of the nominal capacity. We will see that the water starts to heat up above 180 and at this point we can already start to look at the pressure of the vessel. So I will start with drawing this rod with a maximum position of 16. And we see the period of 11 seconds, which is really low. Maybe I went too far, so let's insert this bar to be in a more safe position. Okay, we are on 20 seconds. We range up the intermediate range monitor to 9. Still 30 seconds. And keeping an eye on the temperature, 180. Very soon it will start it should start increasing to 181. Still period 30. And when it's around 16, I will range up. We see already the period starting to increase. 36, 38. Now I range up. This is the last range, range 10. And we see already the average power range monitor at 2%, so here we already have a significant uh, heat creation and we already see a temperature rising to 182 degrees. Now we can already open the main steam line isolation valve. The valve is open, now it means the pressure vessel is in equilibrium with the steam line. We still see zero PSI and we can continue heating by withdrawing bars. Let's go to 16. Mm -hmm. 
this is a bit risky, we are period of 20 and the range is a, a bit high, so let's insert again the bar. Now we are going to infinity again. So now we, we are in an important power of the reactor, we are at 8%, so we don't need to withdraw bars very quickly. Now water is heating, even if we have a negative period here. What matters for the water heating, it's the, this number here, the average power. We got a low water level here because we went below 195. For the moment, that's fine. The, the feed pumps will restore this, this water in a moment. Let's continue with drawing. 16. And we got the, pre the temperature to 201. We are close to the 212 target of this tutorial. We can go to the next rod. Next one is at 10.43 with a limit of 16. And we start with drawing bit by bit. As we approach the boiling point, we see that the period will become more and more negative and we will need to withdraw roads much more frequently to keep the criticality. By the way, all the interlocks that we had in the SRM range are removed after we surpass the range 6 in the intermediate range. So we don't need to care about this cons per second monitor here. And we see that the SRM detector is totally outside of the water. This is wet, dry percentage, so it's withdrawn from this water. So this number doesn't matter anymore. We can continue with the next row. And we see that the temperature is 217. We are already boiling the water and we see already increasing the pressure in the vessel as well as in the steam line. We got some low water level in the uh, alarm but now it's clear because the, the power went low again and the pump increased the water to safe level so we can continue with withdrawing rods next one 1819 with a limit of 16. Okay, let's wait a bit because we're in a period of 42, 24 now. Let's see how it reacts. Now the reactor behaves much differently uh, because the boiling water reacts very fast to the thermal uh, output of the reactor and the bubbles inhibit a lot the reaction. So this behaves much less than before as an exponential curve. We can withdraw a bit more. 14. And 16. Maybe too far. Let's let's insert quickly, quickly, quickly. This was too dangerous. Okay. 
So as well as in the first tutorial, I was too risky. I went too far, and because I could not control the exponential growth uh, of the intermediate range monitor, I I caused a automatic scram. Scram is when all the um, control rods are inserted into the reactor very fast in, in order to stop an exponential growth of the activity and a potential accident. So this is what you should avoid. You should uh, keep taking out bars click by click and checking that the period goes to infinity between clicks and see the temperature and water level to check that the water level is not too low and this until you get the the desired temperature and pressure of the reactor. In this simulator you can reach the the working temperature in few hours but in reality this should take several days because the reactor could break uh, under the thermal load if you increase the temperature too, too fast. Okay, in the next tutorial we'll see how to connect the turbine See you in the next tutorial. Bye.